modern day and age, cities like Dubai, Sharjah and Riyadh are considered as epitome of development. Most of the people living there have everything they need. Other cities also have their own share of prosperity. It really doesn't matter whether they import these facilities. What matters on the perception index is that they have it. And that is how companies all across the world keep flocking there despite local governments not being democratic. That was not always the case until oil became a saleable commodity important for building up on in developments of industrial revolution. Most of these places were barren lands. Such is the importance of oil that democracies are looking beyond their advertised value to invest in these places. But it is changing very quickly and by the phrase very quickly, I mean at an unprecedented pace. While the world is trying to detoxify itself from fossil fuels, lithium is emerging as a new oil. Countries posing reserves of lithium, no matter how remote the possibility of actually discovering are, constantly occupying significant positions on geopolitical stages. India, USA, Canada, European Union, China, Australia, Russia and many other powers worried about their future prospects are constantly looking to establish their control over mining, production and supply chain of the precious alkali metal. The geopolitical equations are turning upside down on an annual basis. Namaste and welcome to TFI Post. I am your host Sabita Mishra. Let's begin with a video report. India just got its biggest breakthrough of the 21st century. The country just discovered its treasure of white gold. And that too in a union territory, which has been the most controversial in the history of political independent India. On 9th of February 2022, Minister of Mines said, Geological Survey of India for the first time established lithium inferred resources of 5.9 million tons in the Salala Haimana area of Riyasi district of Jammu and Kashmir. Additionally, 51 mineral blocks, including those of lithium and gold, have been handed over to the respective state governments. Reports indicate that most such reserves may be discovered in the near future. According to a report by ANI, in fiscal year 24, GSI is taking up 966 programs comprising 318 mineral exploration projects. 12 of them are in the marine domain. 115 projects on strategic and critical minerals are in the offing. Lithium also comes in the category of critical minerals. It is used in rechargeable batteries for mobile phones, laptops, digital cameras, electric vehicles and some non-rechargeable batteries for things like hard pacemakers, toys and clocks. It is lithium's use in batteries which has pushed its importance to such a high level. Studies available till date indicate that lithium-ion batteries could transform the future of energy. For the world, it matters so much that three scientists, namely John B. Goodenough and Stanley Whittingham and Akira Yoshino, were awarded the Nobel Prize in 2019 for providing the foundation of which lithium's use in green transition became possible. Consequently, the use of lithium has witnessed a radical shift. In 2010, only 23% of the available lithium was being used by the industries for lithium-ion batteries. Ceramics and glass dominated the chart with 31% of total share. Out of five major industries, the share of three of them in consumption was in double digit. Within 11 years, the tables have turned in massive proportions. The share of lithium consumption in batteries has increased by more than 200%. In fiscal year 2022, batteries comprise 74% of lithium consumption all across the world. The share of all other sectors was down by more than 100% with only ceramic retaining a double-digit percentage. Comparing it with the change its use between 2004 and 2010, the growth is astounding to say the least. It is pertinent to note that between 2010 and 2021, lithium production has quadrupled from 25,000 tons in 2010 to 1 lakh tons in 2021. So where does India stand in this league? Well, sadly, we have not been able to make such advancement in the sector. Like most of the countries, India is also dependent on the import of lithium. India first rose to lithium spectrum in fiscal year 2019 when buoyed by massive cell phone sales, India's import of lithium increased by massive 300% to above $1.2 billion. The frenzy settled down a bit in successive years. COVID-19 also played an important factor in it. In fiscal year 21, India imported 
8,984 crore rupees worth of lithium and lithium ions. The number jumped by more than 50% in fiscal year 2022. The rapid change became possible because Indians started to emphasize on buying electric vehicles. The following chart clearly reflects how the sale of electric vehicles in India increased on quarterly basis during the last few quarters. E-rickshaw, e-scooter and electric cars are becoming common sights in India. The projected growth of India's e-vehicle sector is astounding. Compared to nearly 7.5 lakh e-vehicles sold in fiscal year 2022, India is projected to be the home of 8 crore vehicles by 2030. That is more than 100 times of the current capacity. For context, the demand jump in the global electric vehicle sector till 2030 is not projected to be more than 4 times. While the projection is good and gives India more respect, there is a problem with it. The problem is India's imports. Currently, we import 70% of our needs from China and Hong Kong. Given the fact that our battery demand is projected to grow from 3 gigawatt hour to 20 gigawatt hour in 2026 and 70 gigawatt hour in 2030, it is not a healthy trend. I mean it's China and you can never trust it for anything. If you look at the countries where lithium reserves are and countries where lithium is produced in highest quantity, the anomaly will become clear. Currently, Australia and Latin America contain 80% of lithium reserves found all across the world. Latin America leads the roster with 63%. In Latin America, Chile, Bolivia and Argentina lead the chart with proven reserves. The three countries are known as lithium triangle. Bolivia tops the list with 21 million tons with Chile and Argentina are not far behind. According to the latest report by Indian Express, Argentina has 17 million tons of lithium. 2022 estimate by data churning website Statista estimates Chile's reserve at 9.3 million tons. Australia has 5.7 million tons. Throughout the last 4 years, Australia has emerged as the top lithium producer of the world. The trend continued in fiscal year 2022. China was at third position. Despite that, China is a dominant force in the global lithium market. Through mergers, acquisitions, mining and hacking boardrooms of companies, Chinese state-backed companies control 60% of the world's capacity for processing raw lithium products into battery-graded chemicals. This is a problem for India and this is the main reason why India has been looking for lithium reserves in countries all across the world. India's latest aggressive push to Latin America is a step in that direction. Just last month, India identified two such mines in Argentina for acquisition or long-term lease. More such projects are also in the pipeline. With the latest discovery, many of us may be led to believe that India may pull back from the region simply because our project's needs are in line with the discovery. Earlier we estimated that by 2030 our battery requirements will need 70 gigawatt hour of energy. This translates into 7 crore kilowatt hour of energy. 1 kilowatt hour requires 73 grams of lithium. That puts our lithium requirement at more than 51 lakh kilograms. The discovered reserves of 59 lakh tons of lithium will easily fulfill the demand with the caveat that we are efficient in utilizing them. But the question is about life beyond 2030. This is where India should remain on alert in Latin America. Not hanging the boots in Latin America brings us other advantages too. Strengthening of our position in that region coupled with efficient use of our own reserves at home provides us a projected opportunity to emerge as a big player. Let me explain. International Atomic Energy has projected that by 2040, the global demand for lithium is going to increase by 40 times. China knows it and has been trying to get control over the supply chain so that it can use that as a diplomatic leverage. If somehow India is able to realize its potential, the game can easily tilt in India's favor. After all, it is a democracy and more trustable in the long run than the Chinese. Stopping the Chinese jagged is crucial for India's future. Currently, India is trying to decouple itself from the Middle Eastern oil. The problem with it is that transition requires lithium and for that we would be forced to be in part of Chinese good books. In Hindi there's a phrase for it. Aasman se gira khajur mein atka. 
to avoid the problems created by our own dependence on oil, we are subscribing to China for the alternative of oil. Thankfully, India did not have to suffer much damage. Then there is the question of our relationship with the Western world and the Global South. Well, as soon as Americans heard about the discovery, they sent Energy Resources Assistant Secretary Geoffrey R. Pack to India. Now it is the time for Americans to regret not including India in its multilateral quest for securing critical minerals. India has already poked a hole in the quest. Australia is one of the countries of the Mineral Security Partnership. India is on friendly terms with the Southern Hemisphere country. India is already investing in lithium mines as well as lithium processing in Australia. The Aussies are even ready to supply lithium to India. It is pertinent to note that India has ECTA or Economic Cooperation and Trade Agreement with Australia, which makes India more credible for the historically biggest producer of lithium. Clearly, the discovery is revolutionary in more ways than one. They say energy is the future, but we say that the quest for this energy changes the course of a civilization's journey.